Again, in this video, we are going to show you how to translate the pseudocode into Python, into a Python implementation. And of course, there are many ways to do that, but um, in this video, I just would like to suggest a way that I normally do use to, um, to translate. Um, and if you come up with a better ideas or having any uh, better system, then feel free to share with us. I would be very grateful for that. Okay, let's jump right in. Um, so, oh, and for this video, I would use the uh, pseudocode for merge that you guys have learned for um, 2.1 as a uh, dem to as a demonstration. Um, so, first thing first, the I think one of the trickiest thing when translating a pseudocode into Python is that indexing. So here in the pseudocode, it assumes that. Uh, our index starts with one, but actually in Python, um, as you already knew, uh, Python starts indexing from zero. Um, and uh, yeah, although it's just a, a little difference, but um, it would be very complicated um, as we translate th these lines of code into Python because one thing might overlap the other. And um, yeah, all sort of complications. Um, so I suggest, well, I, I think that in order to translate it, the most important thing is to know what the code is actually doing um, and to understand it, meaning, uh, first of all, of course, understand what each line is doing. So um, what the intentionality behind each line. But I think um, more importantly is to know the general idea of the algorithm. What, it, what is it doing? Um, what is the structure? Um, and yeah, the, the big picture I think will be very helpful later on um, when we translate um, code because there may be more efficient ways to implement some things in Python um, and would make our code more compact and more readable. Um, okay, so now, um, so the idea of merge, um, th this function, is to uh, first the arguments, so it takes um, A, which is the list of unsorted um, elements, P, the left index, Q, the middle index, and R the right index, right? So the idea is here uh, is first the bigger the big picture uh, that Merge is trying to do is first separating um, A into two subsets, L which stands for left and right subsets, so two subsets, and then it will put these two subsets together um, and merge it together uh, to make a sorted um, A. Okay. So, fortunately, we have a figure um, provided by the author. So, um, so here we have a list of uh, a list A, and we want the left index is nine. Right, you can see from here the right index is sixteen, and the middle index uh, it says here. Oops, sorry, is twelve. So here. So the, the algorithm, um, what it's trying to do is to split these things into two subsets. As you can see, um, the left one starts from, from index 9 to index 12, right? So 2, 4, 5, 7, 2, 4, 5, 7. And the subset right starting from index 13 to 16. So 1, 2, 3, 6. And a part of their idea is to add one more element um, and that would have infinite values um, and the rationale behind this addition uh, I think they've mentioned this somewhere here right it's called a sentinel card uh, which you can read on your own so this is the first step which is to split the um, big list into two subsets and then um, we compare the first elements of each subset to see what is smaller than what and 
we put the smaller element into A. So here, compare 2 and 1. 1 is smaller than 2, so put 1 here. And then next, compare 2 to 2. And 2 is smaller than 2, so just put one of these in. And now compare 4 to 2. 2 is smaller than 4, so put 2 here, across here, and then so on and so forth. Um, and then this code, we can see clearly there are two parts. The first part from here to here, right? From line 1 to line 9. It's actually splitting um, A into two areas at two, oh, sorry, two subsets. Uh, the subset left and right. And then here it adds um, the, the, the infinity element um, to the last entry of each subset. And from here, um, it starts comparing uh, the left, the, the, f the index, the, ver the, the leftmost index of each um, subset, and then put it back to A, and would return a sorted list of A. Right. So here now, just let's translate this into Python. So um, normally, when I start translating it, I normally take a test case. So here, because the author will provide us with a test case, then we just use this, right? So, um, for the sake of, uh, I just take three zero and then take a number here two four five seven one two three six two four five seven one two three six. Okay, and you, as you might have seen, we are interested only these elements. Right, so from two to six. So here, that would be so our uh, leftmost element would be index zero, one, two, three. So index three, right? Uh, what? One zero, one, two, three. Yes, and then uh, the middle, the middle, our middle is seven. So is this three here? Three, four, five, six. Right, six. And then our oops sorry. Our rightmost would be so six is here, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're just a base case first to test line by line. Um so I would start with two cells like this and here I say merge you input A, P, Q and R right no different than this A, P, Q, R right um, so as I told you earlier the idea of of this part of the code is to split A into two smaller subsets right and then add an infinity values to the end of each subset. Um, so what it's doing here is is calculating the length of each subset based on the index that we input in, and then it's looped through um, wide from i from one to n one and j from one to n two and add gradually to the so it, okay so this it starts with two empty air arrays and then it adds elements gradually um, through these two loops and it adds uh, the last two infinity elements into each subset but because in Python we already know that there is a very convenient way to index a list so you know that if say I would index a from 3 to 6 um, be something like this right so um, and so from 3 to 6 or so index so this is from RP to Q so this is we are indexing from so A from P to Q and we know uh, that indexing is not inclusive so it, the the code the program won't count the 
six element uh, wrong list, which is uh, seven, right? So it just it stop is five. So what we have to do is q plus q plus one in order to subset, um, as we've seen here, in order to subset from two to seven, right? From two to seven. So we have to q plus one. So now try three to seven because q is six. So q plus one is seven, right? And then yeah, now it's good. Um, so here we would tie left equal a p to q plus one. Uh, how about our right? So our right would be from 1 to 6, right? And um, so we just start, as suggested by the textbook, we start, oh no, uh, from Q, right? From Q, which is RQ is 6, to R, which is 10. Let's see what is going on. So here we Q to R. So you see, because it's with cow, uh, six. It would count the first element, so but we don't need to take seven, so we would start from q plus one actually. So this would be six plus one, which is seven, and then which is one, right? And it would, didn't count the last element, which is r, so we have to count r plus one as well. So r plus one. Let's see. One, two, three, six. Um, let's see. Yeah, one, two, three, six. Very good. So we just say right equal a q plus one until r plus one, right? And then we want to add two more elements into each subset. Uh, it's it's subsets, right? So we just simply append because in the in the original code they explicitly index that, but because uh, there are several reasons, but now I think it's more convenient for just a pain, so a very big value. So this is 10,000, 10,000, right? and you can be as big as you want, or you can use the infinity value from NumPy, whatever you prefer. Okay, so you see, um, just knowing the idea of what the first part is doing, we We'll be able to translate this entire chunk just in four lines of, of code um, in Python. And yeah, of course, you can test. So return left, right. right. So now I would try merge uh, list of A, P equals 3, Q equals 6, 10 to see what it's returned. Yes. So 2, 4, 5, 7, infinity, and 1, 2, 3, 6, infinity. Yeah, so it works. So okay, done for the first part. Right, and now for the second part, um, let's see. So the second part, it would initialize um, the index to consider for this is for the left subset, which is for the right subset, right? Oh, I don't know how to write an R. Oh, very good. That's an R. Um, so and. You, because it started here from one, but we know that in Python we should start from zero. So here we just simply type i equal right. It's just initializing. Um, and here, what it's trying to do is is loop through. Uh, so k from p to r. So from p to r, which is um, uh, it loops through r. So k from here, k from 9 to 16 here in this code. Um, and here it would be it loops through 3, right? So p is 3, so for k in range of 3 to r, which is here, which is 10. but Right, so index 10. Well, you already know that it's not inclusive. So we have to go from 3 to 11. And that would mean from P to R plus 1. Right, very good. 
Um, so, f okay, so here, if, yeah, here is the same thing, left, right j, then ak, would equal to left i, I in increase it by one. Oh, you can do this. Though the other way can work also. So, so and then else, uh, A K would be right J right, and then J plus one right. Here we go, and then we just return A. Now let us test so merge um, a rp equal 3 q equal 6 and r equal 10 let's see what is going on uh, 1 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 yes so that's what it's supposed to be doing yeah 1 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 so okay we're done so um, yeah so when you translate a pseudocode into Python try to find concrete case where you can test it directly so that it won't be confusing trying to figure out what index you should use um, and yeah and try to be concrete about what the variables are so um, here I wrote it down just to not mess it up um, and so from the concrete case you can infer the general cases as I'm doing over here um, and you should test this code chunk by chunk don't try to put everything together at once and then it will be very confusing um, to figure out where the bug is so okay uh, good luck and um, if you have any further questions feel free to email us or come to any of the availables of these hours would love to see you over there okay